Imagine you have a lemonade shop and you sell lemonade to your friends and neighbors. Sometimes people buy lemonade from you but they forget to pay you the money they owe. In that case, they owe you a debt and you will be called a creditor here. Let's give you a fancy name. You are an operational creditor. Operational creditors are people or companies that provide goods or services like the lemonade you provided and they expect to be paid for it. If someone owes you money for these things and doesn't pay, they become your financial debtor. Just like this in the real world, if someone owes you a lot of money and refuses to pay, you might need help to get your money back. For this, there is a special law called the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code that helps people or businesses to get their money in such situations. The Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code allows operational creditors to take legal action against these financial debtors. For this, they go to a special court called the National Company Law Tribunal and the process is called Corporate Insolvency Resolution Process. Section 5 subsection 20 of the Insolvency Bankruptcy Code defines an operational creditor as any person to whom an operational debt is owned, including any person to whom such debt has been legally assigned or transferred. Section 5 subsection 21 states operational debt to include debt with respect to goods, services, employment and debts for the repayment of dues payable to the central or state government. For initiating the corporate insolvency resolution process, the operational creditor has to send a demand notice to the financial debtor along with a copy of the invoices and other documents. The debtor must revert within 10 days and should bring about his claims regarding any existing dispute or if there is evidence of any payment or that he has simply paid all the dues. In case there is no response from the debtor, the operational creditor can file an application to the National Company Law Tribunal after the expiry of 10 days. While submitting his application to the authority, the operational creditor has to give a copy of the invoice or the demand notice affidavit stating that there is no dispute notice, debt is unpaid. The operational creditor can also propose a name of a insolvency resolution professional. The authority then has to take a decision within 14 days from the date of the application. The authority says yes to the application if it is complete. There are no payment which is made to the operational creditor. The invoice or the notice for payment has been sent to the financial creditor and there has been no notice or dispute received. And also, there should be no disciplinary proceedings against the resolution professional. The authority may say no if there is payment of money, there is invoice or notice which is not been delivered to the financial creditor and there has been a notice of a dispute or any disciplinary proceedings are pending against the resolution professional. Once the authority says yes to the application, the CIRP process is set to commence from the date of the application. That's all in this video. Stay tuned for the next one.